You know, it's the holidays right now. This is uh, traditionally a great time for moviegoers, you know? All the good movies are being rolled out, the big blockbusters. Problem is, hard to know which films to go see. And these days, a movie ticket, that's pretty expensive. You want to make, you want to make an informed decision. That's why tonight it's time for another edition of Conan on the Isle. <laughs> Song. Okay, our first feature is The Matrix Revolutions. It's the final chapter in the big sci-fi series, and although there are a lot of fans uh, of this uh, genre, I sort of get the impression that by the third installment, even the filmmakers were tired of the premise. They were so jaded about the whole storyline and everything. Just look at the final showdown in this scene between Neo and Agent Smith. You can tell these filmmakers just I don't know. It just isn't the same. It's kind of sad. Mr. Anderson, welcome back. We missed you. It ends tonight. I know it does. I've seen it. That's why the rest of me is just going to enjoy the show. Because we already know that I am the one that beats you. Our next feature is The Cat in the Hat. Now, I gotta tell you, like a lot of you, I loved the book as a kid. But turning a short children's book into a full-length movie always seemed like kind of a bad idea to me. Sure enough, watching this movie in the theater, I often felt that the makers of the film were just padding it out to make it try and last longer. And uh, it got really annoying, and I thought it hurt some scenes. Take a look at this, this typical moment from the film. was a giant cat. But that's impossible, isn't it? It's entirely impossible. You know, I like this hiding place a lot better. They'll never find us here. scenes in the movie, too. All right, our next feature is The Last Samurai. Now, this movie stars Tom Cruise as a Civil War veteran who teaches the Japanese army about modern warfare. Now, as always, Tom Cruise is great, but it seems like he may have had some problems dealing with one of the child actors. There just wasn't a good chemistry between Cruise and the child actor. Take a look. <laughs> Karewa。そう。信じていた。戦で死ぬのが怖いよ。父が。自分も。でもたくさん戦をしてきたんだろ。いつも。I didn't know. I forgot. I, I totally forgot Goose died. I was furious when I saw that. <laughs> Our next feature is Gothica. This is a supernatural thriller starring Halle Berry as a prison psychiatrist who wakes up to find herself locked up in her own prison. Now, it's supposed to be a very, very scary movie, but unfortunately, it's ruined by some really lame product placement. 
you know, and they, they place a product in there to try and make some extra money. And uh, in one scene, it just took me right out of the movie. It ruined it for me. Take a look. Berry, Frankenberry. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in a movie. Shocking that they did that. Okay, our last feature is Master and Commander, The Far Side of the World. It's a big budget nautical epic that centers around Captain Jack Aubrey, played by Russell Crowe as he helms his British warship in pursuit of a superior French ship. Now, the film is based on the novels of British author-historian Patrick O'Brien. Now, while O'Brien's novels are historically accurate, the same cannot be said of this film, and this is too bad. Take this scene, for example, where Crow's ship comes under attack. If you watch closely, you'll see some pretty glaring historical inaccuracies. It was only for a moment. I, I, I thought I saw a shape. Well, you did the right thing, Mr. Hollum. Go to your stations. The deck's yours, Tom. Sir. that song took me right out of the movie and then he battles Cher for the next 45 minutes incredible film you gotta see it all right we'll take a little break when we come back Zach Braff is here from Scrubs Billy Connolly is here.